With the threat from the Chief Election Commissioner, Mr. T. N. Session, looming large that there would be no polls after the 1st of January 1995 if photo identity cards were not issued to voters by November 1994, the Chief Ministers of 10 states, scheduled to go for elections later in the year, met in Delhi to discuss the issue with the Prime Minister. Last Monday's conference, which was also attended by Mr. Session, underlined the acceptance by all the chief ministers present to agree in principle to the idea of a photo identity card. Though some of them contested the time-bound nature of the exercise and the sheer logistical impossibility of covering the entire population in their respective states within the next 16 weeks. The order was issued on the 28th August 1993, providing not six weeks but 16 months. 16 months, if you sleep for 14 months and then come and tell me I have only six weeks. I ask you, don't sleep so long or sleep so deep. Wake up in time. The ID card may be here to stay, but in some states where this exercise has been implemented, citizens have protested that the method of photographing was comparable to mugshots taken of common criminals. Certain members of the society, like burqa-clad women, also object to being photographed per se. And critics point out to the dry run in Gujarat polling centers, where no more than 25% of the people had come forward to be photographed in spite of widespread publicity. But the Chief Election Commissioner is dismissive of these objections. I have already told everybody, A, have a woman cameraman if you want a woman cameraman. B, have a woman polling officer if the woman says I won't show my face to a man. So at both ends I have tied it up. So that excuse is off. And as for Gujarat saying only 20-25% turned up after extensive publicity, the claim of extensive publicity is undiluted garbage. Some chief ministers claim that the huge financial outflow for this exercise was another inhibiting factor in the smooth implementation of the scheme and many states have made paucity of funds an excuse. Notwithstanding the fact that the central government has assured it would pick up 50% of the total expenditure. The concept of a photo identity card is seen by the Election Commission as an instrument against electoral malpractice and a deterrent against bogus voting and impersonation. These complaints have often been made during the elections in the past by all political parties. And the Chief Election Commissioner in his campaign to clean the electoral system of these aberrations put photo identity of the voters high on his agenda. The identity card for elections is vitally important to prevent impersonation. If you say that there are a hundred point index wrong with Indian elections, about 15 to 20 percent of it is impersonation. If there is still controversy surrounding the issue of the photo identity card, it now is linked solely to the deadline set by the Election Commission. Although there has been widespread support for the Election Commission's efforts to conduct a free and fair franchise, Analysts contend that what gives urgency to the whole matter is that the failure to adhere to the photo ID card deadline by some of the states may create a major constitutional crisis.